Have you ever wondered if reality is just a simulation? This question, extrapolated from science fiction, triggers philosophical discourse. The idea of a simulated reality has ancient philosophical roots and currently it's penetrating the territories of science and technology. We've contemplated thought experiments like the Chinese room, considering consciousness and comprehension, or the brain in a vat, imagining our brains kept alive in a vat, receiving electrical stimuli to mimic reality. With modern tech advancements, these philosophical musings are gaining new perspectives. We're contemplating if our reality could be a complex digital mirage, expertly crafted by a high-level civilization. As we explore this puzzle, it's necessary to re-evaluate our perceptions and reshape our concept of reality. Could what we perceive to be reality, in fact, be an intricate illusion? Imagine for a moment that we exist within a simulation of reality. Intriguing, isn't it? This theory has two main arguments. First one is the technological argument. The rapid evolution of virtual reality technologies is blurring the line between the real and the simulated. Could we be in a hyper-realistic simulation created by a future, more advanced society? The second argument is statistical. In a universe where a civilization can simulate realities, wouldn't it create multiples? If so, is it more likely that we're in one of those simulations rather than in the primary reality? This raises philosophical too. What does it mean for concepts of consciousness and free will? Are these just responses programmed into our simulated existence? If we are in simulation, what does that mean for our understanding of existence? But what if reality is not a simulation? Let's consider the arguments against it. The main one is the vast complexity of rendering an entire universe. The scope from galaxies to quantum mechanics would surpass our technological and computational knowledge. Furthermore, there's no definitive evidence. No one has discovered a pixelated universe edge or a matrix glitch. Our scientific findings align well with the natural world, requiring no simulation theory. From a philosophical perspective, dismissing the simulation hypothesis underscores the worth of our physical experiences. It heightens significance of our tangible reality, the one we engage with through our senses. It reminds us of our mortality, our cosmic place, and each moment's value. Whether or not live in a simulation, the questions it raises challenge our perceptions of reality. So where does this leave us in our quest to understand reality? We've journeyed through surreal realms of reality, wrestling with various arguments. We've dived deep into existential queries, touched upon philosophical debates, and dared to challenge traditional perceptions. The concepts of our existence, consciousness and free will are thrown into uncertainty due to the possible simulation of reality. Yet, it is this uncertainty that fuels our curiosity, pushing us to seek answers, to ask more. The reality we perceive might be a simulated construct, a complex virtual world. However, it's not about finding absolute answers, it's the journey, the exploration, the pursuit of knowledge. As we continue to navigate our understanding of reality, we remain curious, open-minded and ready for what comes next. Until our next video, keep questioning, keep exploring and stay curious.